So let's first get started on this application by training the YOLO V8 object detection model to detect weed from a set of footage. So this is the data set that we are going to use to train the YOLO V8 object detection model. So we'll provide you with the URL to the data set on RoboFlow. So here we can see some sample images from the data set. Here we can see the images and here weed object has been annotated using the RoboFlow's annotation tool. And we can also see the data augmentation steps in this data set as well. Let's do a quick health check. Although there's only one single class, we can see there's one class in this data set that is weeds. And we can see this heat map of the annotations. Most of the times the weed object is centered in the frame and all of our images for 416 by 416 pixels. And now we can go to this data set. Here we can download this weeds augmented v1 data set. Let's download this data set and we'll choose the YOLO v8 format. We will download this zip to our computer. In case if we are using Google Collab, we can simply select the show download code option. But since we will be training it locally, we will download the zip to computer. So let's continue. Okay, so once the data set is downloaded, we can get started on training our model on this data set. So this is the downloaded data set. If we go to the trains folder in the images folder, okay, we can see that there's only one image in this folder. I think we should download the other variant of this data set and see if that contains all the images. So here we downloaded this data set. Let's try this data set. So we can download this to local device. So now it's downloading and once it's downloaded, we can inspect the data set and then train our model on it. Okay, so this is the downloaded folder from RoboFlow. Now, if we go to the train folder in the images, we can see there are a lot of images in a training folder. Similarly, we have the validation folder and the test folder as well. So now we can use this data set to train YOLO V8 model on and see how that model works. All right, so here we have this data set in our model training folder and this is the data.yml file. Now, here we will write the code to train the model, but first of all, let me open up a terminal, and I would advise you guys to first create a conda environment or virtual environment and work inside that. Although we only need one dependency for this model training, that is Ultralytics. But it's always advisable to use separate environments for every project. So I have already created a virtual environment named Precision Agriculture. We can name it whatever we want, and once we have activated the virtual environment or the conda environment, all we need to do is to install Ultralytics. So that we can do using the command pip install Ultralytics. So now we will install the Ultralytics. So here we can write code for training. So first of all, we will import YOLO from Ultralytics and we will change this interpreter. Okay, so once we have imported Ultralytics, we will activate our environment here as well. So now, once we have imported YOLO, we can select the YOLO V8 model, which we want to fine tune. So we will be using the medium model, so YOLO V8M DPTPT. And here we can do model.train, and the data will be in this data.yml file. So we can copy its relative path, then we can define the number of epochs to be 100. And we can select the image size for this, which is 416, and then we can do model.validate. We will check if this is the right command. So the command is model.val, and a few adjustments in the data.yml file. We will just give the absolute paths of these folders, so we will copy this path and paste it here. Similarly, we can do that for the validation and the test batches. Now, coming back to the train.py file, we will change the number of epochs to 10 just for the sake of demo, although I have trained the model for 100 epochs. Let me just quickly change it to 10 epochs here. So now we can run the command python train.py and we will bring the terminal here so we can see it clearly. We can bring it down all right. So now if we run this command, we will first download the YOLO V8 medium model. So it's downloaded here and we have read all the images from the folders. Here we can see that and now our training will soon begin. So here we can see our training process has started. Since I'm using a Mac device, which is not optimized for training these models, I'll just skip it for now. But you can let it drain on your device for complete epochs. Let me just 
can so that we can see the training has started so our environment is set up correctly and the training process is working just fine all right now i can just see the results of the training that i've done earlier so let me show you guys that so here in the runs folder in train two, we have the results.png file. Here you can see I've trained it for 400 epochs and the metrics. So the precision of the bounding box is above 0.9. And similarly, the recall is above 0.9 and all other metrics are performing really well. And we can see the training loss has decreased consistently and so does the validation loss. We could have kept the training going for a few more epochs since the training loss has not converged yet it could decrease further. But seeing the metrics, I think we're good to go. So now these are the weights, the best.pt file that we will use to perform inference in the back end of our application. So now that we have the model, a trained model, which we can use to finally build the back end of this application, then connect it with different in using Flask APIs.